Oh, I see, I see now. Oh. Hello, I'm John Cadillac Seville, sitting in for my mentor and my idol, Tony Fapiano, who can't be here tonight. So it's a real honor to be here on GCTV with these three wonderful folks who do a lot in the community. So I want to make sure I get this right, folks. Whenever I ad lib, I get myself in trouble. So the William S. Norton Op Opportunities for Youth Fund was created by the Guilford Community Fund as a memorial to William S. Norton and his dedication both to the Community Fund of Guilford and to the youth. Now, it's intended to provide opportunities for personal enrichment to young people whose family circumstances make such opportunities unattainable without community support. Now, to kind of expand upon that, we have three guests here tonight. We have jo Sean Kinnear, Tammy DeFrancesco. You like that pronounced that way? Well, my son will like it. Yeah, and also my favorite French Canadian, we have Lynn Landry. <laughs> so, Sean, we'll start from you. I mean, a lot of people are tuning in right now and, and wondering what exactly is the Dr. William S. Nord Opportunities for Youth Fund. Okay. It is a m memorial fund, as you can guess by the name. Uh, it's administered by the Guilford Community Fund and has been so for about the last 20 years. That's when it was formed. Um, but it's really a, uh, a, a collaboration between three different mm -hmm. agencies in town. You've got the Guilf Guilford Community Fund. You've also got the Guilford uh, Department of Social Services, Tammy. Mm -hmm. And you've got the Guilford Department of Youth and Family Services, Lynn. Um, and the three of us all operate and run it together. Um, we each have a, a little bit of a different role, but the uh, administration is from the Guilford Community Fund, and mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a great co collaboration. And obviously you've been involved with so many different, um, you know, you've had so many different collaborations with, with what you've been doing over the years, and you were talking about the men's group earlier, mm -hmm. about some of the things they've done, Sean. I mean, you want to talk about that? or I mean, Tammy and Lynn, you feel free to kind of hop in whenever you like, but if you want to expand upon that. That'd be great. Well, uh, one of the reasons that we did want to uh, to bring it up, you know, and have it taped and out into the community today is that we've got a, uh, a unique opportunity uh, this year where we haven't had in the past. Mm -hmm. um, the St. George's Men's Group had a fundraiser a year ago, and they donated a substantial amount of money to the Will Norton Fund specifically for, for our use. Right. Um, it was a donation of $9,000. It's more money than we have ever had in this account. Wow. Uh, and we're yeah. very excited nice. about yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. Right. That's and fantastic. it has allowed us to, to help some kids that we haven't been able to help in the past. So mm -hmm. in the past 12 months or so, we've had four kids that we've been able to help, which is more than we've had in the past wow. six or seven years, actually, yeah. uh, you know, for, for a lot of different things that their families wouldn't be able to, to afford. So, mm -hmm. so they may come to us or they may come to Tammy, uh, and we don't have the funds to, to help with things like that. Mm -hmm. so, so we may have somebody who would like to take uh, horseback riding or uh, who wants to go to an overnight camp, but they don't have the money. We don't have available funds to help with that, but the Will Norton Fund can help. And now we can do that a little bit more freely mm -hmm. uh, thanks to the St. George's Men's Club. And yeah. you think about Guilford, you think about being in an affluent society and you don't think about people not having the money to be able to do things right. with parents, but that's not necessarily true, huh, Tammy? Oh, no. And it's been that way for um, as long as I've actually been been with working with Guilford. But, um, uh, this particular fund came about because um, we, a member of the community and a member of the community um, fund came up and asked, basically wanted to know what it was, what what type of programs that we do are able to fund. Mm -hmm. And through my office, it's just was just basically basic needs: mm. heat, food, clo you know, clothing on occasion. Um, medicine, right. that type of thing. And they said, well, what happens when a family comes to you and there's something that would really benefit their child, right. you know, and, but they don't have the funding for it. And so that was the brainchild that mm -hmm. actually started this whole collaboration. So. Wow. Because I mean, yeah. I, I know from, from, from what I've heard personally, you've done so much great work in this town, Tammy, to help so many different oh, people. Thanks. Yeah. But I just figured but to I pass couldn't, it up. It's but we could never provide the... The little extras. The little, oh, yeah, extra, little something, extras. Yeah. It, was, it had to do with something that this child, a child um, wanted mm. that would really make a difference in their lives. Right. You know, that would somehow, because they got this, mm. would somehow enhance you know, their future. Right. Uh, for instance, there was a young um, girl, nine, 10 years old, she had a very, an interest in art. 
her mother couldn't afford mm. supplies. Yeah. So we ended up um, buying her art supplies so that then there was a program that offered her um, le you know, lessons. So it worked out nicely. There was another fellow, and this is from years ago. This is pre-Lynn, pre <laughs> pre-Sean. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but there was another fellow um, who was overweight um, in high school. Mm -hmm. And um, we got him a gym membership in a couple hours um, uh, with a personal trainer wow. so that he could lose weight. Yeah. So, you know, little things. There was another one. So a, a community member came up. Um, he, he was a mentor. He was working with someone who um, had an opportunity to visit her lifelong pen pal. Mm -hmm. And her family, at, at I knew, couldn't afford it. And he, as her mentor, was willing to look for money for her from himself, mm -hmm. but he also needed some help. The, um, the Will Norton Fund covered some of the, the plane ticket. Wow. Uh, but these are, uh, these are pro they specifically it had to be for what that child or young adult was, was going to really enhance, you know, their future. You know, not that, not that, well, he didn't get the football that he wanted, you mm -hmm. know, can you buy him a football or because that would be great. Right. But it was something that right. really meant something. Well, another great example is this year is a young, young girl uh, at Baldwin Middle School mm -hmm. who wanted to take music uh, through the school uh, but her parents couldn't afford to rent oh, the instrument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so we were able to, so the three of us signed off on that and now she has an instrument to play and maybe this will be a, a lifelong passion for her. Maybe, you know, yeah. music will be in her future and but mm -hmm. she'll remember that how she got this start uh, and we've been able to add something that's very valuable in any child's life, music. And it must be really tough. I mean, I'm not a parent myself, but to tell your, your, your child that you can't, you know, you can't afford something. That's hard And this is where this comes in, yeah. right? Mm. I, mean, yeah. I mean, what a legacy with Dr. Norton. Right. You know, well, it's amazing. It right. is. I mean, we all, as parents, have to tell our kids that, I'm sorry, we can't afford exactly. it. I mean, there's yes, some limits the to that. <laughs> but, the, but there are certain but, things we, we just want to cultivate right. certain exactly. talents they may have. You know, um, you're right. I mean, that's, I, we're even, I'm even in talks with, um, um, the Shoreline Arts Alliance, mm. Alliance because mm. um, each year they've allowed through um, a, a grant or actually through a funder, somebody uh, personally mm. has been able to fund um, scholarships, scholarships mm. for mm. their program. And um, but the, when we sent the letters out to do it through my office was your child has to have, you know, uh, an interest, you know, Ha for theater, you right, know, it can't right. just be just you want to put them somewhere right, for a right. week because yeah. that's not that type of thing. Mm -hmm. We're not going to just send somebody, you know, because you need daycare mm -hmm. to. Right, they have an after right. interest in that. They have to you know, have, yeah, matter. yeah. So, um, you know, it's one of the things that we're we're talking about now is you know looking at into the um, the Will Norton Fund for those particular children who really had that type of interest and mm -hmm. passion. I guess that, that's the word, passion. Yeah, it's all about passion. And obviously, yeah. all three of you have passion to help the community, and right. that's why we're doing this. So right. getting the word out, obviously, with, with uh, programs yeah, like right. this. But what yeah. else are we doing out there to get the word, of, word out about what, what, what the Norton Fund is all about? Well, I think this is a start. Yeah, a start, yeah this yeah. is really yeah. the Because a lot of people, I'm sure, watching right now have no clue yeah. But right. this is really all, and they might be hearing about it for the very first time. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, as as a matter of fact, um, a few years ago, we funded a small golf. Um, what was it? The, a, a scholarship for mm -hmm. them to to play golf. Mm -hmm. um, one of the fellows, a young autistic, ad, um, young right. adult, right. and he had a he had this this desire and yeah. uh, happened to be very right. good at it. Which I guess his other brothers, you know, used to do things through the school and. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, little things like right. that. Those are the type of programming or type mm -hmm. of situations mm -hmm. that the fund is for. Right. And know? we're hoping that doing something like this will alert the public uh, so that we can continue the fund. Uh, you know, yeah. I, I don't think we'll yeah. spend all of the money this year, but mm -hmm. uh, we'd like to, ke you know, to keep it rolling, have, have people donate so that the, the fund stays healthy. But I'll tell you, that $9,000 that came from the men's oh. group of St. Right. George, right. wow. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's, that's fantastic. That's, that's and that's the thing is, fabulous. people need to understand, you may not have $9,000 to donate right now, right. but right. every little bit counts. That's right. Maybe a dollar here, $10 right. there, right? Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Well, and every, every, oh, I'm sorry. Every extra dollar is an opportunity to help a child, help a, yeah. a young teen enrich their lives right. in, in some way, and that is the purpose of this fund. So yeah. we're yeah. really actually very excited uh, that we have this opportunity to get out to the community with this kind of funding. Mm -hmm. 
Kevin. And often, um, we're, we're in the business of helping, but people don't usually come to us with that, with that one little issue. You know, that, like, it just so happened that I was helping a family with other, other issues, and as she was waiting, she started talking to me about all the little different issues, and, and with the ch child, again, it was an autistic mm -hmm. young adult. And um, she said, I, I just, he can't, I can't afford um, those, this one, you know, the things, that, the extra things that his school offers. He's mm. on a scholarship to yeah. a particular school and through through the town, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and uh, she said, I feel bad for him because he has to try to understand that I can't do what those other parents mm. do, yeah. you know, mm. as we're helping with energy assistance and whatever. Right. And I I said, wait a minute. Right. <laughs> I well, think, keeping the, you're keeping I, that yeah. antenna up so all the time. What happens you know? if people don't uh, say it to us, right. we have no mm -hmm. way of knowing right. either. Right. You know, unless they happen to mention right. something. But you're also trained uh, to kind of keep the antenna up, like we were saying before, right. listening yeah. for the need. Right. right. I learned a long time ago the need provides the lead. Yeah. By yeah. listening right. to what people yeah. need, oh my God, I've got something here that can help. Right. Yeah. Right. And prior right. to this influx of money, you know, it was always, well, let me see, I don't know. You, right. Do you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. Because yeah. there was not a lot of, lot of, you know, we didn't use it for a while. It just stays in the right. background. And I think you touched on something very important, that this is, this is an affluent town, right. but there's right. also a lot of poor people right. in this There town. are. It's yes. amazing the disparity between. It, it's yes. huge. Yes. Yes. And so, and we see it probably more than, uh, than anybody, than anybody, else. Than anybody mm -hmm. else. And so yeah. it's important that people keep giving to funds like this yeah. so that we can continue to bridge that gap. I know, because some right. people may hear about the $9,000 donation and say, okay, we're good. We're good. Right. We're, not, we're not good. Right. We're right. Not we, good. we can't no. become no. apathetic about right. it. No. Right. 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 No. Yeah. And the important thing know, is, is to know is find Lynn, find Tammy, find myself, find any community fund member if you want to, if you, if you have a, somebody that you think could use our funding or use our services, or if you want to donate to us and, and, and give to that Will Norton Fund, find any of us. We're and how can we get in touch with the Will Norton Fund or any of you? I mean, I'm sure it's going to be up on the screen It'll or be people up on can the find screen. it, but, uh, yeah. uh, but, but just in case, I mean, we can never talk about that enough. Right. I mean, exactly. Right. I mean, do you have an address, an email address? Right. or they can, they can reach us uh, through the town website. Our, our information is there, but uh, I can be reached through Guilford Youth and Family Services. Okay. Um, once again, you're Lynn Landry. Lynn Landry, Guilford okay. Youth and Family Services. And Tammy DeFrancesco. <laughs> Your Gilford. son's going to be happy. He's going to yeah, like yeah. be real happy. Yeah. We'll never see this. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Guilford Social Services. Um, right. it's, anyone can call the office. And then Sean. And then just Sean Kinnear, Guilford Community Fund, www.guilfordcommunityfund.org. Uh, great. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, folks. My name is John Cadillac Seville, filling in for Tony Fapiano, and appreciate everybody behind the scenes and all your help, too.